guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today i have a little mini sephora haul i know what you're thinking i've been saying i've been on a low no buy but you will see what i got and i'll explain my reasoning for why i picked these things up so if you want to see what i got then just keep on watching all right guys so this is actually from two different sephora trips over the weekend so I'm gonna, I'll explain my reasoning as to why I got these things. I did have a small gift card that helped a little bit towards these, but the rest I did pay for, which is kind of one of my rules in my low no buy is that I have to be able to pay for it with cash, not credit. So I will explain everything, but first thing that I got is this Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. I really enjoy the Moroccan oil, actual oil, um, so I wanted to try out their Protect and Prevent spray. I am just about out of my other leave-in conditioner heat protector, which is the Living Proof one. I actually really do not like that one that much. I feel like it kind of, it doesn't really condition my hair, I feel like, whereas this one I have been, I have tried this now twice since I picked it up on both of my hair washing days. So this one I do feel like does make my hair easier to brush through. I feel like my hair is softer, so I do like this. And the other reason I really liked this one was because it's for color treated hair, which I do have color treated hair, so I wanted to make sure I have something that is a little bit more protective for the color, which like I said, I purchased this because I am almost out of my living proof one. I have like probably that much left. It's getting hard to spray out. So I'll just finish that up, but I am, I've been wanting to use this, so I need to just finish that other one up and be done with it. But so far, I like this one. The next thing I got is this Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen. So I actually quite enjoy the Pharmacy brand for the things that I have tried already. My main face wash is actually the Pharmacy cleanser and my eye cream is the Pharmacy eye cream which I really love and I definitely plan to repurchase both of those things when I am completely out. Now I was using this like blue lizard sunscreen that I purchased on Amazon and it was not bad but I just found that sometimes it just seemed to get like... I don't know how to explain it. For one, it did feel a little bit more heavier on my skin and also it seemed to kind of like pill up sometimes so I really have to like work it into the skin. It is not a bad option but since I really do enjoy pharmacy I wanted to try out their sunscreen. I will say that my face does, it does feel a little bit heavy on the skin when you first put it on and you do kind of have to work it in a bit but throughout the day I don't really feel like it's too bad. I've used it twice so far. Today I did feel like my I wore it today at work and I did feel like my skin was getting a little bit oily but I have oily skin so I don't really think that that was this product's fault but I did want to pick this up to test it so I'm going to keep using it and see how I feel and if I would repurchase this when I run out. I'll take it out and show you what it looks like. It has 1.7 fluid ounces. The thing I like about Pharmacy as well is that they are like a clean brand. So, and you know, I've been using their, like I said, I've been using their cleanser and their eye cream and I absolutely love them. So that's why I kind of wanted to give this a try and just see. So I will continue to use it. It is SPF 30, by the way. Next thing I picked up is this Ola Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. That's a mouthful. I tore it apart, but I used it once. So this is actually a, what did they say this is? So it says it targets dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles, skin texture with high potency AHAs. So this has active ingredients in it. Now I have really simplified my skincare routine because I was dealing with a lot of breakouts and nothing seemed to be helping. And I was always using acne targeted products. And I think that was a big problem because now that I have cut back on doing that, my skin has gotten a lot better. So one of the things I have been using is the, um, it's called the Holy Grail pharmacy. It's also an AHA. Let me, let me grab that. I forgot as I was mentioning this, I also use another pharmacy product. So this is the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. That's what this looks like. This is what I have been using um, a couple times a week. 
and it's an AHA. So I was reading that AHA, since it's a chemical exfoliator, it can help with breakouts and stuff. And also it does help with like aging. So that is something I'm very scared of is aging. <laughs> so I really want to be proactive and not reactive. And I really do enjoy this. So I thought, you know, maybe to add this in a couple times a week as well. Um, since this is also AHA's, it has active. When I put it on the skin, you could feel a little bit of a tingle, just like I do with this. This, I don't feel like is too much of a tingle. And the other reason I wanted to pick this up is because the AHA's, I believe, they are different between the two of these. So this one is, let me tell you. I believe this one is glycolic and lactic acid. Glycolic. And lactic, yes. There is glycolic and lactic, lactic acid in this. And also this has witch hazel in it, which my other non-active toner is the Thayer's Witch Hazel. So I figured maybe this would be a good thing to add and it does say it helps with like um, evening your skin tone, skin texture, I mean, targets dark spots. So I'm hoping that it will give my skin an overall even appearance in between using this, which is different. The AHAs in this are different. This comes from gentle flower acids. So, I don't know, I'm giving this a try. I've used it once, I will use it again tonight. I didn't see anything terrible happen, so. I mean, it does say you can use it nightly on the website, but since it is an active AHA product, I don't know if I wanna jump the gun and start doing it nightly that quickly, especially if I'm still gonna be using this during the week too, and I won't combine these. Like, if I use this, not gonna use this, you know what I mean? So anyway, that is why I bought this, long-winded, which by the way, I plan on doing an updated skincare routine video. I did one on my channel a while back and I have since changed a lot of things about my skincare. As I said, I have simplified it, so you know, I wanna kinda showcase what I've been doing, but I'm still waiting just to make sure that adding in a couple different things isn't gonna cause any problems. So I will be doing that soon, just give it a little bit more time. Next thing I picked up is the Ola Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. Now, I will explain why I picked this up. This is what it looks like. Okay, so as I mentioned just a little bit ago, I do use the Pharmacy Cleanser. Now, that is my nightly cleanser. I have been using that for months now. And the main reason I wanted to add this in is just because it is a little bit different. And I'm actually using this as my morning cleanser because it does have like that citrus smell to it and it's kind of awakening, I think. Um, I thought maybe this had vitamin C, but what it says in the box is cleanses and removes makeup with orange fruit water and PHA. So this actually does smell really good. It does smell citrusy. I have used it, um, let's see, three mornings in a row now since I got it, and I have not had any bad things happen. Um, so it does lather really well and suds up really well. So, so far so good. I'm going to keep trying this as my morning cleanser. So just to give you an idea, my morning routine is literally just cleanse, moisturize, eye cream, and sunscreen. That's it for skin in the morning. Then in the evening, I use my pharmacy cleanser. I will either use this or if I'm not going to use this I would just use my witch hazel toner moisturize eye cream now I am going to be adding in this during the week so this will be my toner option if I'm not using this moisturize eye cream all that so my pharmacy cleanser is still my nighttime cleanser because I do enjoy that one this is my daytime one so we will see if I you know I guess it's kind of hard to tell if like a product is doing something when you're using two different ones but I just like how this one smells and it kind of wakes you up in the morning and it does not leave my face feeling super tight so I really like that too Then the last thing I got which I'm actually wearing on the eyes today and you will be seeing a first impressions video after this video it is on the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pinks 
palette. Now, I don't want to give away how I feel about it. You will have to stay tuned for the video. That will be the next video after this one. So stay tuned for that, but I did pick this up. Now, honestly, I didn't need this. I just really wanted to try it out because I like the color story of it. I will quickly show it to you just in case you haven't seen it. That is what it looks like. It is very pretty. I really thought it was a unique color scheme layout. I mean, as unique as it can get, given the fact that we've seen every color known to man done in eyeshadow. But I really wanted to pick this up to give it a try. And like I said, this is the look I'm wearing today. So stay tuned for that video. Once I have it uploaded, I will link it below in case you are not seeing this on the day that I upload this video. So that is it for my mini Sephora haul. I didn't do too much damage, not too much. And these, most of these things besides this were actually kind of beneficial and worth it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I love watching hauls. So if you do too, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you've picked up anything recently or if you have experience with any of the products that I hauled. I would love to know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye.